We are more than this. We are living in challenging times. It's obvious to everybody. There are so many of us that just want to give up or don't see a way through or can't find the answers that we need. There are a lot of us that say it shouldn't be like this. It should be different. Well, obviously, but it's not. And these are the times that we're dealing with. Each of us faces a whole raft of our own personal challenges. And then there are the climate change issues, the political divides and tensions that are taking place here and around the world. There are all of the challenges that this virus brings with it to each of us, the multitude of obstacles and difficulties. Sometimes we just want to give up. Other times we're frustrated and angry. Other times we just feel overwhelmed. What do we do with this? How do we respond? Do we blame our circumstances? Do we declare that it's not fair and then point at others and demand that they be different? Of course, circumstances ideally should be different. If that worked, we would be all for it. But all that really does is it puts the power to define us outside of us. It says that Those circumstances, those people, those conditions are what define us, limit us, tell us who we can be. We rail against that, but then we're also defining ourselves as being less than, as being at the effect of those circumstances. We're more than that. This is not who we really are. From an evolutionary point of view, we are the descendants of whatever came after dinosaurs. We are whatever rose up out of that. And no matter what happened, kept going, kept developing, kept evolving. And here we are. We have that kind of strength and power in us. From another point of view, There is a spark in us, a divine spark, an essential spark that through circumstances throughout human history have got us to again and again sense that there was more and rise up and continue and engage in remembering and living what that more is. True, the world is not fair, but it might not be designed to be fair. It seems that it's designed to force us to remember who we are, what we're capable of, and again and again and again reach into that and live from that. Apply that that sense of being more, being greater than. It's interesting that through so much of our history, the stories that we have most cherished, the movies that we have most come back to, the myths that have inspired us are almost always about this overcoming. You know, it's that hero's journey where We are faced with circumstances that seem beyond what we can deal with, and yet somehow we step up. Somehow we get bigger. We remember that there is something more in us than these circumstances that surround us, that we are bigger than the conditions that we face. Some people try and do this by becoming hard and dominating their world. But that hardness becomes a shell that traps 
the essence of who we are. It, in time, distorts our expression. This hardness, in time, takes us down. And then there are those that keep remembering, keep coming back to that impulse towards expansion, towards love, goodness, that things should be more and that we get to it by becoming more. This is the essence of learning. If we learn this, if we remember this, all other learning is possible. All other learning comes to us and we go again and again beyond the limits of what we face around us and what we face in us. And we become that spark that we have sensed in us. This is our way forward. This is what each of us is here to do. We remember who we are. We catch that vision of what we are here to be. And then we step into it and live from it. This is what it is to be human. To go beyond our history, what we've done, what we haven't done, to go beyond our circumstances, we must remember that we are more than this and live from that vision.